I get asked questions all the time about scarring, scar tissue, scar healing. And it's interesting because a lot of them come down to not so much physical issues, because you can have a lot of physical issues, obviously, with scarring. It makes a lot of sense. It can slow down your movement. It can make it hard to play with your kids. It can cause you to feel embarrassed about how things look. And that's what I want to talk more about today. Not so much physical healing, but the emotional healing that comes with working on your own scarring. So a lot of times, if you've had a scar somewhere visible, say on your face, on your hands, on a part of your body that you previously like to show off, uh, people have a lot of appendectomy scars, or they'll have C-section scars. A lot of women will have C-section scars that are pretty visible. And so they have a hard time going out in public on the beach, for example, and showing off their body like maybe they used to because they feel embarrassed about how things look now. And there's a lot of emotional trauma that can come with that. And one of the best ways that you can actually work to heal that emotional trauma is to touch the part of your body where you have, let's say I had a scar right down the middle of my face. And this is going to sound kind of frou-frou, kind of out there, but there are lots of people who do something called EFT, which is Emotional Freedom Technique, which is actually tapping. So they'll tap on a part of their body and they'll say, I'm a great person, I'm a great person, I'm a great person, I'm a great person. And over time, you literally are like tapping this into your body. It's really actually a very effective method for, I would say, a good percentage of people to be able to make changes in their own thinking by working on something with a physical method and also using words to describe what it is that they want. So if you have a scar down the middle of your face, you might look in the mirror every day and say, oh my gosh, it's so ugly. Oh, terrible, ugly. Oh, I hate it. It looks so terrible. And then that over time, and I've personally gone through this, not with a physical visibility, but with some mental stuff where I just, I ended up saying bad things to myself, you know, like, gosh, I can't believe you're so stupid. Why were you doing that? Oh my gosh. Nobody cares anyway. Blah, blah, blah. Oof. Terrible words to use. Terrible. So if you're using bad words with your healing, this may sound frou-frou or out there or way too metaphysical for some people, but you actually slow your own physical healing by slowing your emotional healing. That's the bad news. The good news is you can change it today. I read a book called Love Yourself Like Your Life Depends On It. It's a great book. It's little and it's you can read it in a night basically. But he says he went through this really difficult, really terrible time in his life and what he did was he created a mantra for himself and his mantra was, I love myself. I love myself, I love myself. And this sounds very Stuart Smalley, I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, gosh darn it, people like me kind of stuff. But it works for a lot of people. Not for everybody, but for most people it really works. Here's two things that I would recommend you do. Go to your scar, wherever the scar is on your body, let's say you have a scar down the middle of your face, go to that scar and grab a hold of it. Let's say this was a scar here. You would grab a hold of it and just as you're pinching it, as you're grabbing it, say, I love myself. I love myself. This is healing. This is healing. Find a mantra that works for you and say it a thousand times a day. This is healing. This is healing. You can be sitting at your desk and you can be stressed out and frustrated and you can go, this is healing. This is healing. This is healing. It may sound stupid, but it works. It's crazy, but it works. So. Find a mantra for yourself that's going to work and and repeat it and do it. Commit to it for 30 days. If it doesn't work after 30 days, whatever. But commit to it for 30 days and say, I'm going to say good things to my scar. If that's weird for you, I'm sorry, but do it. Try it and say, I love myself. I love myself. This is healing. This is healing. It's perfect and healed. It's perfect. This stuff works because you embed it in your brain. Instead of embedding in your brain, this is ugly, this is ugly, you're saying, this is pretty, this is pretty. You don't even have to say it's pretty. You can just tell yourself a story. It's healing and it is healing. It's always healing. Your body is always rebuilding itself. Every 11 years, your body rebuilds itself entirely. You're a whole new body every 11 years. But you can touch this and go, this is healing, this is healing, this is healing, this is healing. And that is the truth.
and just speak it. Speak it a thousand times a day. Speak it loud, speak it quiet, speak it in the shower, speak it before you go to bed, but speak a truth about it that actually serves you instead of speaking something about it that doesn't serve you. So that's one way to heal the emotional trauma that comes with the scarring, is actually to touch it and say something nice about it. The other way to heal the emotional trauma that comes with that scar tissue, if you have it in a visible place and people mock you for it, and some people will, get rid of those people from your life for the time being because they're only going to worsen or slow your own ability to heal. And that may sound really harsh, that may sound really negative, but you're the average of the five people you hang out with the most. And if four out of five people hanging out with you are saying, oh man, that's so ugly, oh, it looks terrible, you are going to believe them because they're the people you spend the most time with. So those are the two recommendations. It's healing, it's healing, it's healing, it's getting better, it's getting better. And avoid people who are potentially preying on the and P-R-E-Y, not P-R-A-Y, P-R-E-Y-I-N-G, preying on the inclinations that you might have to already feel bad about it and feel better about yourself. So that would be my recommendations for healing the emotional issues that come along with scar tissue. If you're looking for more great tips and helpful tricks for actually working with your physical scar tissue, please come and visit us at healingscartissue.com, healingscartissue.com. My name is Jonathan Kraft. Thank you for taking a couple of minutes to watch this video.